What is up, Pats Nation? It is Patriots Colby here with another video, and I know, guys, that it has been a while since you have heard my voice. I finally just got back from Boston last night. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I was in Boston for the Patriots training camp, and then I did some stuff with family, and it was just beautiful. Um, I know the Patriots are adding a couple of days of training camp. I know one I think is August 1st and I, I highly recommend if you can get there to get there. It is just extremely amazing. Seeing them up in person is just extremely unbelievable. And um, a player that honestly really stood out to me when I went was Jeremy Hill. That dude is way, way bigger than you would think. But with that being said, I wasn't able to make videos because I was on vacation with family. But now that I am back, expect a lot of videos as I have a lot of ideas that I wrote down. Um, a lot of news and stuff has happened with the Patriots the past week or two. So I will definitely be throwing a lot at you guys. So with today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Patriots signing safety Eddie Pleasant. Now, some of you might have already heard about this as it is a bit of older news. I mean, it happened maybe a week ago, but I never really addressed it, so I thought that I would do it as um, it's a position that I've been saying that the Patriots really need to sign. So he is five foot eleven. He is twenty nine years old and two hundred and thirteen pounds. So he does not really bring height to the backfield, which we kind of talked about needing. Pleasant is a former Texan. He joined them back in um, 2012 as an undrafted free agent and has spent the last six seasons with the team. He only made one start in his 78 appearances while with Houston, though. His career stats with Houston are 99 tackles, 2.5 sacks, 3 interceptions, 17 pass breakups, 1 forced fumble, one forced fumble and 1 fumble recovery. This past season, his stats were 16 games played with 32 tackles, 2 sacks, 3 pass breakups, 1 interception, 1 forced fumble, playing just a very little 29% of defensive snaps and a very high of 49% of special team snaps. Now, by no means is Pleasant an elite safety or anything like that he might even be a guy that most people haven't heard of um, I heard about him a little bit before but he isn't a guy that is very much talked about but he was ranked 47th best safety last season honestly he did not have a mark in free agency I mean the Texans let him walk after signing uh, that elite safety and then literally no other teams jumped on him now, from what I've been hearing, he will supposedly be competing with Jordan Richards for that safety spot, but I'm not totally sure how true that is due to the Pats actually using Richards as a linebacker and not a safety. But if I'm going to be real, I would just honestly love if Pleasant could kick out Richards as he is by far the more talented and can even play special teams. For anyone that's been around for a while, you know that I've been saying for so long that the Pats desperately do need another safety in case that Harmon Chun or McCordy goes down, and some people have debated on that, but really just let it sink in. If one of them goes down, who really does go up? You don't want a cornerback that is used to be that is used to playing the outside all of a sudden going in and playing free safety, strong safety, just anything like that. You don't want to mix those kind of things together. We saw Roe do it and it did not work out well for him whatsoever. But the Pats finally got some safety help. I mean, I definitely would have preferred Boston or any of the other safeties that I've talked about that are more talented, but I guess Pleasant will have to do. Now, he is coming in very late into the process, process, so it is going to be hard for him to make the roster. That's undoubtful. He's really, really going to have to pick up this playbook as fast as he can and show that he can build off his 2017 performance. And while it will be difficult, I don't think it's impossible, especially because he brings special teams ability, which Bill Belichick loves, as we all know and always talk about. <laughs> Speaking of special teams... I honestly believe that that is going to be his best bet at making the team as of now. If he can come into preseason and make some special teams plays, then I think Bill is going to really like this guy. 
but he obviously is going to have to show that he can be decent in the backfield, which shouldn't be too hard as he showed that he is capable of it before. Another thing that Pleasant brings is a great um, locker room presence. Some Texans reporters have actually backed this up and have said that he is actually willing to help out any younger player that needs it. And Pleasant will also bring a veteran aspect to the locker room and the field, so we can count on a guy that definitely does know what he's doing. So when you mix him being a veteran and knows what he's doing, being able to play special teams, and being just an all-around great guy, he definitely could be a great Patriot. He's a guy that I'm sure Bill Belichick will very much love, so ultimately it's going to come down to how he's going to play. That's it for today's video though. Make sure you guys like and subscribe as it helps me out so, so, so much. Make sure you guys check out my last video where I gave you guys footage that I personally took when I was at training camp. Make sure you share this video with your friends so we can grow the Patriots global family. And other than that, I'll catch you in another video, Pets Nation. We'll get